If it walks like a duck, if it talks like a duck, if it walks like a duck, it's a motherfucking duck. Chanko. Wait. Okay. Good boy. It's a motherfucking duck. Chanko. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> If it walks like a duck, do 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 do. If it talks like a duck, <laughs> y'all was good, yo. It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. I praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. I know that was a catchy tune, right? But no, nah, but for real, man. So today we want to talk about Lomachenko, man. Vasily Lomachenko. And it was just been announced by him and his team, you know, Eclemus and all that. And his father, Papachenko, and all that stuff. Is that Lomachenko seemingly does not want the fight with Javante Tate Davis. And this is what we feared, right? This is what we expected was going to happen, you know. You know, I don't want to, well, expect this too harsh, but. I definitely anticipate. I've been calling it. I was like, man, I'm not gonna believe the Tank versus Loma fight until I actually see it written in stone and I see a stamp on it and I see a date on it. You know what I'm saying? Officially on Boxer Rec or something like that, or some other site that's comparable with releasing information as it pertains to uh, fights and official fight dates. You know what I'm saying? And we didn't see it. And then yesterday, last night, you know, it was announced that um, that uh, Lomachenko has essentially turned down the fight. Man, he said, hey, I'm not in the mood. What do you mean by that? <laughs> You mean like in the mood to uh, watch a movie with your girl? Or you mean like in the mood to go grocery shopping? Or you know, a mood like that? Like what kind of mood you talking about? Man? I've never seen somebody not be in the mood to get this bag and do the profession that they are a professional in. You know, but uh, but all, all jokes aside though, man, I understand this. You know, if you don't want to take the fight, you want to chill and, and spend time with your family, I, I understand it. I respect it. You know, at the same time, but we got to keep the keep the same energy at the same time you know because if there's anybody else everybody be running and saying he's a duck Lomachenko is a duck and he, he, he's ducking and has been ducking and still ducking you know what I'm saying so you know it's funny that people will say oh well you know uh, Gervonta ducked Lomachenko for six years he's been ducking him for six years shut up bitch oh my God. <laughs> bro you're emotional you know, I'm going to prove to you why you're emotional. But just give me a second. So y'all say he'd been ducking his hips in six years. It's 2024. That means 20, six years ago would be 2018, right? Do you know that in 2018, Lomachenko and Javante Tank Davis weren't even in the same division? You know, uh, Javante... Let's be honest, you know, around that time, he was, he was fluctuating quite a bit, you know, even fighting Mario Barros at 140. But in 2018 and 2019, his main, the main, the weight that he was primarily at was uh, 130. You know what I'm saying? That the majority of the time he was at 130. So, you know, the funny part is that people will say, oh, you know, Tank, who was also young, was ducking Lomachenko. And they weren't even in the same division because Lomachenko at that time, since 2018, fighting Jorge Linares, he's been at 135. These are facts. Go look it up, you know, and I'll show you some paper, some paperwork here. You know what I'm saying? So they weren't even in the same division. But but I'm going to be honest. You know, they could have fought if they really wanted to fight. You know, one division difference, they could have fought, you know. Um, But but now this is where I'm going to show you that why you're emotional. Because there was somebody else that was um also not in the same division as Shakur. But he was, I mean, also not in the same division. I just, I just spoiled, the, spoiled the surprise. <laughs> there was also somebody not in the same division as Lomachenko, and it was Shakur. But he was on the same promotional company at Top Break, right? He'd been calling out Lomachenko since 2019. And guess what you're going to say? Oh, they weren't in the same weight division. Gotcha. Ha! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> You see how you're emotional? Because Lomachenko, uh, Shakur was calling out Lomachenko in 2019 as he was approaching 130. The same weight division that you're saying Tank was ducking Lomachenko when he was at 130 and Lomachenko was at 135. You see how that goes there? Even though Shakur didn't get to uh, 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 130 until 2020, you know, he was just calling him out in his document, and I'll show you right here. He was calling him out as he was approaching the same weight as, as, as Lomachenko, you know what I'm saying? Saying that he would have he would have made it happen, you know what I'm saying? One division difference. So if you're gonna say that um Gervonta's been ducking Lomachenko, then you could also make the same argument that Lomachenko is ducking, has been ducking, and will still be ducking Shakur Stevenson, who's been calling him out, and he's on the same promotional company. That's a fact, ain't it? Ain't it? I did. You know what I'm saying? So that that, that that's the easiest fight to facilitate. So I don't want to I don't want to hear this mess about uh, Lomachenko um, not ducking tank. He he's ducking tank and he also ducks your core. And you know, like I said, I respect his decision. I respect Lomachenko. You know, any man, anybody that will go and and and, and risk their lives for their country, man. You're a warrior. You 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 you're a fighter. At, at heart, man, I can't question your spirit, but you got to understand boxing is a business. So do I think that Lomachenko is scared of Javante take Davis the man? Of course not. No, I don't think any of these fighters are scared. Well, slightly, I don't think 
<laughs> There's why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? <laughs> Mostly everybody isn't scared. You know what I'm saying? I don't think I think there's very few people that are scared of one another that are boxers and professional fighters. You know what I'm saying? Um, scared of the man, but you gotta understand it's a business. So I think he is scared of the fact that he will lose some fi fi financial uh, grounding, you know, some, some financial footing. You know, I think he's scared of what it would do to his career at this point if he loses to Javante Take Davis. You know, the man already has three losses. So, you know what I'm saying? So three losses is, 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 a, is, a, is a lot more prettier than a... <laughs> Three losses is a lot prettier than four. I'll tell you that. So if he gets a fourth loss, I feel like he'll he'll, he'll he'll really be hurt by that. So I think he knows that his financial stock will drop. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I think that's what he's afraid of. You know, because boxing is a business as well as a sport. So with that being said, it doesn't matter why you're ducking. It doesn't matter how you're ducking. Use a mother duck, Chanko. Look at you scared now, you ho. Scared like a little white pussy. You know what I'm saying? So like he's he, he's he's ducking, bro. It is what it is, man. And this is proof. You know, and Bob Arum. I don't understand why Bob Arum. Man, there's a lot of mosquitoes out here. My bad. I don't understand why Bob Arum and Top Rank they get the least amount of uh, uh of of coverage when it comes to them ducking and doing stuff wrong, man. You know, Top Rank always doing some foul stuff, man. You know, and people never point it out. You know, so I want to see everybody, especially the official media outlets like ESPN and Pro Box and all of them. I want them to call out Loma Chuckle because once again he just ducked Javante because they quick they quick to say oh Javante ducked Shakur or, or this person ducked that but Canelo ducked Benavidez but where, where, where's the, even when Shakur had a shirt that said Lomachenko on the back is ducking me and, and saying that Bob Aram is protecting him they still didn't talk about it which is crazy Shakur is telling you that hey man I've been on top ranks since 2017 Lomachenko has been closer around my division since 2018 you know and he's, and he's been on top rank with me so it's that's the easiest fight to facilitate, and it still hasn't happened yet. So where's the uh, where's the coverage on that? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all think Lomachenko was ducking? Do you think the fight will eventually happen? Uh, are you bad about it, or or what? How you feel about it, man? I think Lomachenko was ducked. People say, oh, he's old now. That's why Tank fight wants to fight him. No, well, they're both champions in the same division now. You know, and the fight should happen. You know what I'm saying? And if and if it doesn't happen, that's fine. But if you're gonna say, uh, I agree with what Coach Kenny Ellis said, but he said, hey, bro, if you don't wanna if you don't wanna uh, potentially fight the biggest fight of your life, and and you're not in the mood to fight, then maybe you should uh, hang up the gloves, man. And I agree with I agree with what Kenny Ellis is saying, man. You know, because that's the same energy that we keep for everybody else. So let's 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 just be uh, consistent, man. You know, so that's all I ask for. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah, I appreciate y'all rocking as always, man. Don't forget to like the video, but more importantly, most importantly, don't forget with God we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. You know what I'm saying? So y'all be easy. The doctors out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.